we're at the silent pool but there's a lot of people gathered near us got a little bit of information here the silent pool was probably an old chalk quarry fed by underground springs and would have been a precious source of pure water in days gone by the pool a nearby Sherbourne pool or pond which is just behind me let me come over here and show you the Sherbourne pond became home to many different species of aquatic life and one can often glimpse the blue flash of a kingfisher as it darts across the water Silent Pool has, al has always been a popular place to visit and many feel a an eerie silence looking out over the still water surrounded by the evergreen box trees legend has it that this is due to the fate of a woodcutter's daughter who was surprised by a nobleman on his horse and as she bathed in the pool having failed to lure her to the bank he rode his horse into the water and caused the girl to move out to deeper water where she drowned when the woodcutter returned and found her body he was also found he, he also found the nobleman the nobleman's hat floating on the water and it bore the crest of none other than prince john but as you can see the pool is surrounded by beech trees and yew trees and ash hazel all types of trees surrounding the pond and as you can see the autumn leaves are changing colour now which is lovely a lovely setting well we have just come up there and we've come through Albury and we have got come to a fork in the road or the track and according to Cynthia's instructions we've got to go up there but there's a lovely smell of trees or woodland being burnt in fact I can see the smoke just up above us and it reminds me and I often say this in films when I'm videoing when I was in it, when I was a little boy out in the woods with my dad and I just loved that smell so we're coming up this track old oops an old track here oh dead squirrel that's not very nice but just above us we've got beech trees an oak tree and you've got these fantastic root systems here but it's quite nerving really because everything's leaning to the right hand side so this is a very very long steady climb up through here huge oak tree above us and we're just about to pass under some holly We've still got bird song at times around us but this is the first big climb we've had we've had one very steep one coming down but the first one going up I don't like climbing hills but worst is yet to come I just stopped by this gate and just said to Cynthia and Steve about the views which are stunning let me just show you and that's looking over towards Albury where we came through just now but the real reason for me coming up to this gate and to do this little bit of filming is to have a breather we've come up a bit of a slope as I mentioned in the last video but we've got as I said worse to come when we get to St Martha's Church is it yep. Steve says it's only a short 
incline and I just jokingly said short incline but one in two but uh, yeah looking forward to getting there the weather has improved a lot for us at the moment and hopefully he says if the wind's not too strong I can get the drone up and that's what we'll be looking forward to well I've just been told to pay attention to what I'm doing. I don't understand why, except that we're crossing a railway line. goes that way here we are just crossed perfectly safely thank you Steve thank you Cynthia and if you in, this, in the event of an emergency ring the AA <laughs> so we now wait for Cynthia to give us directions I think it's down that way gate on far side and descend towards Ford Farm, which would be that. Yeah. Right, okay. on Blackheath Forest, I think it is, or part of it. We've just come across one clearing and now we're in this lot. And you can smell the pine, which is rather lovely. Earlier on we came along a little, we had to cross a railway line which you will have seen in the video, or will see. And we come across the crab apple tree and you smell the wine or the vinegar or whatever you want to call it coming off of the, off of the apples, but particularly as you walked over them. But Steve quite rightly said just now that on this walk, we've had he everything. We've been through woodland, we've been through um, forests, we've been through open land, been across a railway, we found ponds, we found an old ruin. It's just been a brilliant walk for finding all different different things. But now at some point we're gonna to come to a is it an ammunition place? Oh yeah gum gun powder factory. A, a gun, powder, gun powder factory eventually but uh, that's further along on our walk. We're probably just over halfway or three quarters of the way on our walk today. But the worst is yet to come. I keep saying that because it's a steep climb up to a church. We've come along this, this sa very sandy track. This is Blackheath Common. And we found out about a war memorial, which is just over there, which we're heading towards now. And I think, oh no, this just tells you where we are, Blackheath Common. And we've seen, this is the third one of these signs we've seen. We can't read that very well, I think. So we're gonna have a wander along here, past this gorse, 
heading along this common track and there's an awful lot of people out here this afternoon um, mostly dog walkers but people with their children as well because some of them are, are on half term holiday already which will mainly be people kids at private school but the memorial is right out in the middle of the common and it's positioned on this high point on the common and we're timing our approach to it very well because there's nobody else up here and here we are 1914 1916 1917 and 1918 Uh, two killed in action um, in Egypt, uh, one, two, three, four, five in France, one at Jutland, HMS Invincible. I seem to remember a story about HMS Invincible. Who in the Great War went forth? from this place for God and the right the names of those who return and on this side not again are we here inscribed to be honoured forevermore and just on the front there remember with thanksgiving with true and faithful men that's an amazing thing to see in the middle of a common but I have to say beautifully positioned on this common lovely absolutely lovely thought I had a disaster the battery ran out on my GoPro so I've just had to change to the spare one but we're just walking up this little track just down here up this way but just look at these fungi in this field but just up in front of us on this bit of the walk we've got these absolutely gorgeous alpacas let me just get up a bit closer three of them in a the field there they are aren't they absolutely lovely one over there in the distance yeah far the furthest one he's having a good old chew at some grass and these other ones are just having a nice rest so we're now at the start or the first part of the start of the climb to St Martha's Hill or St Martha's Church I should say but something that we've noticed on two or three parts of the walk is vineyards but are huge huge areas for vineyards but yeah, so we're, Steve's just pointing something out. Oh, Chilworth Manor Vineyard. There we go, so now we know the name of it. Steve behind me, Cynthia behind Steve. And now, we're going up here. And this is where the real climb starts. And I mean, <laughs> just looking up in front of me very very narrow as you can see and you've got these sort of not, they're not proper steps but there's a pipe runs either side of the path going up here but you don't know whether to use them as steps because my goodness me this is extremely steep 
I jokingly said to Steve earlier on about this being a one in two, I'm actually not far out. Yeah, <laughs> one in a million. Because, as Steve quite rightly said, we're going to do this in stages and we're going to stop at times. And there's two oak trees just here in front of me on the left hand side. And I'm going to stop by them because this is incredible. So that's it. First bit done and that ridiculous bit up there to go. Now Steve assures me that it's worth it. Cynthia's been there, she went there with her daughters. But did you go up this footpath with your daughters? Yeah, so we're going to not press on, as I usually say. We're going to take a minute. But I'll let you know when we get to the top.